<gasps> oh, my husband just gave me free money right from his dead body. Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing some more of the Desperate Housewives game. I'll put a link in the description down below if you missed the previous episode. In the last episode though, we we sold our son's body. And you guys were shaming me for it, but I'm not ashamed to, you know, just spread my whore ways to my whole family. You know, I want my whole family to be a whore, not just me. It's part of my legacy. During Poker Night, the ladies gossip about how Daniel Fox is match our wholesome feather. Speaking with Daniel about this might be, oh my god. I gotta walk all the way to first freaking Daniel's house because the girls on the block are freaking homophobic. What? Old lady, please don't look at me. Don't know. Don't go over to her. Why am I going over here? Run, run, Hello, kill yourself. Neighbor. Oh, God. Hello, Miss Wrinkle. Good day, Miss Davenport. Is something the matter? My garden has been damaged again. And I'm sure some mangy mud is responsible. Your freaking flowers drank bleach because of your awful outfit. How can you be sure it was a dog? Maybe I'm it was sure Lynette's was awful kids. And come to think of it, oh, the only God. dog I know of that is left outside during the day to ruin my beautiful garden is Mike Delfino's walking carpet. I'm Mike Delfino's walking carpet, honey. He walks all up up on this and he loves it. She's just jealous. Any creature that has no oh respect God. for the grandeur of a garden such as mine should be put down. <laughs> you wouldn't allow a dog that bit or mauled your child to live. Would you? I would put my own child down before a dog did. If you see oh that God. Mike Delfino, you let him know to keep that mud of his on a leash or else. Put yourself on a leash, old witch. All right, let's go. I guess we'll talk to Mike because I don't want to talk to Daniel. He's annoying. Mike, I'm here and not for my regularly scheduled booty call. Mikey, are you home? I don't see you. I'm sleeping in your house. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. 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 Did, uh, does he not? Did he not hear me knock? Are you serious? What is he doing? Keep knocking. Keep knocking. Keep knocking. Um, hello, you little sexist pig. Hello. How are you doing today? I am well, but I have some disturbing news. What's going on? Look, Mike, I know Bongo didn't do it, but Miss Davenport is convinced that your dog destroyed her garden. I mean, maybe it did. Who knows? Bongo doesn't leave the backyard when I'm gone. Did Mrs. Davenport say why she thinks Bongo did it? Because she's racist towards animals? She really didn't give me any valid reasons. If you ask me, that woman is out of her mind. <laughs> Would you mind taking a look at Mrs. Davenport's garden? Oh my god. You know Fine. Why am everyone's little errand girl? Can we at least sleep with you real quick? Hey, what's going on? I get paid for my work, honey. I don't do nothing for free. Once again, you've robbed Alright, be my quiet. World. Just shut up. I don't I can't tell you deal with you right now. Alright, and now where does that old witch even live? I never even been to her house. I assume it's this one over here with the garden. Oh god. Oh <gasps> it was Lynette's kids. See? Put them down. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> what the frick? Chucky dolls who oh my god, and they left they stepped in poop. Clear Bongo's name, hush money, or question the scavo kids. I want to blame the Scavo kids. All right, well, let's just clear Bongo's name real quick. Old lady, she... Oh, my God, nature, theater. She is old and sad. She's not even watching her TV. Why is it on? Um, environment, hello? Hello, hello. you old I witch. I had a chance to speak with that Delfino character. I did. I spoke with him, and I slept with him. So, yeah. So, what are you telling me for? Get off your wrinkled butt and go talk to him. He said Bongo doesn't leave his yard unless he's on a leash. So, it's I not Bongo. I don't have to justify myself to him or you. <sighs> I know it was that flea bag. It was you, menopause bag. It was you. What if I told you I had evidence that someone other than Bongo was responsible? Someone? I know who did it. Oh, don't make me laugh. If your pathetic garden is any indication of your green thumb, I'd rather let the damn dog do the garden. Excuse me, miss. If your outfit is any question to your sanity, I'm gonna have to get you put in a home. And I suppose that you would have to piece your garden together over the course of several months as you wait for those pension checks to arrive. I may do just <gasps> fine, thank you. Honey, those ankles are broken. You ain't doing nothing. I'm tired of your game. Tell me how much you want to make this go away. Or I will personally make sure you find yourself on the very short end of a bet. We're well, starting. Oh my if god. You put it that way. There are a few exotic flowers I've been wanting to add to my garden. Two thousand dollars is just too high for me. I mean, right now with the rest of the garden. To that garden is this big. How is she spending? I don't even spend two thousand dollars a month on my entire living expense. I'm not paying her. I'm literally not paying her. I'm not Perhaps doing you it. you are correct. I could make do with less, but 
$1,000 is as low as I'm willing to go, and this is a one-time offer. I need my own money. Are you oh my god, I'm not giving you $2,000. I'm blaming the little rats. There they are, there they are. Talk to them, talk to them. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. <laughs> and your neck is supposed to be part of your body, but clearly that didn't go well. Would you consider me a stranger if I had some chocolate for you? <laughs> We're not supposed to talk to strangers. Shut up, little boy. I have to go all the way to the pharmacy? Why can't my husband do this? His name is literally Mo Lester. All right, where, where am I getting, where am I getting these from? All right, finally, let's buy some chocolate. Box of chocolate. Oh, it has hearts on it. That's even creepier. Do I need three for each of them? <gasps> we can get medication if we have a prescription? Well, damn, we're gonna have to fix the prescriptions. We can turn up. All right, little boys, you little rats. I'm coming to be a molester. It's me, your friendly neighbor, Miss Anya Dickey. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. I have some chocolate. Did you see Mr. Davenport? Is he a zombie? Mean Mrs. Davenport is mad about the damage to her garden. I promise I won't tell anyone else, but what were you guys doing over there? You heard that Mrs. Davenport killed her <laughs> husband and buried him in her garden. If her garden was dug up, we figured we would go look. Okay, um, what can you tell me about Mrs. Davenport? Why are we believing these little kids? When Mr. Davenport died, Dad told Mom that Mrs. Davenport's garden was all messed up. So we figured that she must have buried him in there. Um, what? Nothing. Except that one day he just up and disappeared. About a week later, she said that he had died while visiting. You know, I talked with Mr. Davenport not too long ago. He told me that if you weren't good little boys, that he would rise from his grave and come after you. <laughs> That's silly. Everyone <laughs> knows that zombies can't talk. You're lying. Yeah, and you're dying because I poisoned the chocolate with my AIDS. Yeah, I'm I'm blaming the kids. I could care less about those little rats. Besides, I hate Lynette. She's a freaking bitch and a half. Hello. How are things? I have evidence that it wasn't Someone? Bongo. Scavo kids, I saw them in your garden. What proof do you have? Are you down? <laughs> are you dense? I saw them, they confessed. No offense, <laughs> but the Scavo kids mistakenly believe that I buried my husband in my garden. Cause you did. I even refused to come near my place on Halloween. Oh my god. Unless you have proof otherwise. Oh, just shut up, okay? I hate you. Oh, we can stalk Miss Davenport on our computer? This is the drama I live for. I live for this. I love when my husband just stands in the corner waiting for me to get home so we can attack. Why is my husband standing underneath the staircase? Is he trapped under the stair? Okay, you're not Harry Potter, so stop trying to be. I swear to god, my husband's such an idiot. Alright, husband, don't mind me. I'm lurking on the neighbors. Davenport. Search. <gasps> Marriages? Elizabeth and Rodney Davenport went to a small ceremony. Alright, his obituary. Rodney James Rod Davenport passed of cardiac arrest at 72. He was a loving husband and wonderful companion. He leaves behind wife Edda Davenport his Wisteria Lane. The obituary has been retracted. What do you mean? I mean, we didn't get much from that, you know? Well, she did lie about her husband's death either way, so I'm black, but I'm the old lady. Oh my god, see, my son, sleeping with that teacher, just, it's not good for him, but you know what? He'll thank me later when he's older. Oh, Mrs. D! <laughs> you ain't getting no D because your husband's dead. Hello. How are things? Miss Davenport, I know the truth about Rod. <laughs> What the devil are you talking about? You've been a pretty sneaky woman for so advanced in years, you had me fooled about your husband's passing, too. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> of course my beloved Rod is dead. Well, maybe to you he is, but surely that new wife of his will find out just how alive he is in their honeymoon. No! I hope she has a heart attack from being so sad. Not the sobbing routine. I'm so over you and your act. I am back, honey plum sugar. Okay, why did that chair move? But he's over there. That's so creepy. Your house is haunted. Hello. Found anything new that might be able to... Hey, Mike, I took care of it. Miss Davenport won't be bothering you or Bongo for a while. Thanks for clearing that yeah. situation up. Oh, my God. I really appreciate it. Oh, my God, yeah. Well, I might know of one way that you and I can make each other more appropriately. Well, the best I can do is offer you free plumbing services. Anytime you have a leak... Let me know. Thanks again. I wanted you to leak in my Vergainer. Wow, triggered. All of that and I get nothing in return. What is that right there? Is that a dead freaking hamster? I want to break into someone's house. Can I break into Edie's house? Why is Edie home? Well, I'm going to freaking seduce Carlos. I don't care. Knock, knock. It's a neighborhood whore. Where are they? Where are the people? Hello? Hello, hello? Is no one home? Hello? Oh yes, the man's answering. How come the men always go to the fridge when I'm knocking on the door? They're so rude. Oh, now Gabby's gonna answer. Oh no. Yes, Gabby, I, I wanted to see myself. you. You look glamorous Actually, today. So... What do you mean? How am I lucky? You obviously have no idea how good you have it. Just imagine what it would be like if I wasn't your neighbor. I'd be married to your husband if you weren't no my neighbor. Alright, shut up. I'm here to see your husband, not you. What if I just kissed him randomly? What if I just go up to him and kiss him? 
Like, what, what, what will he do? Is he gonna slap me or something? Like, beat me? <gasps> oh, he'll just go in for it? Well, let's just keep doing it then, God. Gabby doesn't know. She's freaking sitting over there staring at a wall. Let's just slap him, too. You know, let's just, like, BDSM what? him. What the hell was that for? I just felt like it. I'm a gentleman. I've never hit a woman in my life. Don't make me revise that policy. We gotta go! Oh my god, run! Run! Oh my god, run, run, run! Well, rip Gabrielle, he's gonna beat her the frick down. I should probably take care of my garden, right? Ah, oh, the garden! Alright, now let's water the beautiful crops. I just love taking care of my garden. This is my goals, my life goals. Why well, have a real garden when you can have a 2006 Desperate Housewives garden? Hello. There we go, my garden is looking gouda! Oh, we have some weeds to pull. Snatch those weeds, girl. Beautiful, perfect, 10 out of 10. And the last thing we'll do today is make dinner for my family. Tonight we're having a vegetable platter because my husband has to lose weight so he can squeeze out from in between the stairs. Plus my son has to keep his figure for his new girlfriend that's a teacher. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh. No, 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 retry, retry, retry. Okay, bam, 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 bam. I'm good at cutting up cucumbers because they're, you know, penis shaped and I just want to kill all men. All right, bam, bam. No, why do I keep missing the first one? There we go. Ah, oh, I'm a genius. Okay, last one. <gasps> okay, I am just so good at cooking. <gasps> a plus, A plus, A plus. Yes, God. Everyone sit down to eat. Wow, I just made dinner really bend over. I love it when my husband comes to eat with me. Just kidding, he won't leave. Is he actually trapped under there? Oh, I have secrets. Okay, we know about Edie snooping. We know about the flower song from the little kid and Davenport's lies. For me, we know that we broke in, we had uh, an affair with the mailman, an affair with the gardener, an affair with the maid, and an affair with myself, you know. We have the most dirt on ourselves than anyone else. Can I even sleep with my husband? I can't even sleep with my husband? <gasps> I really, I it won't let me. Can I sleep with my son? I'm gonna have to just eat these, just eat the chocolate, just eat all the chocolates. What happens if I call him? Thank you for calling. <sighs> leave your Can I call the teacher? Please leave your message after the well, dang. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode of Desperate Housewives. If you liked it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. In the next episode, we're going to go talk to Daniel about the ruffle flab feathers. Sorry this video was a little short. I am pre-recording a bunch of videos because I am going to be staying with my dad for a couple days. So if I'm not replying to comments as well for the next couple days, that's why. But I will be back in like a week, a week and a half's time. There'll still be videos going up. So I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.